I will actually take the pleasure, if I might, to say a few words. My wife, Pat, is here. Uh, I think Pat and I had been in Humble several years. We came in June of 71, and uh, Kingwood at that time had less than 5,000 population. Uh, the Kingwood Drive ended right across the main creek whenever we first came in and the sales office was right there and so Kingwood Drive uh, going east didn't exist but uh, the, as groups of people moved in they started talking to the chamber about starting a library in Kingwood and quite frankly we were trying to get an overpass uh, on Kingwood Drive at US 59 and had not really given a lot of thought to, uh, to uh, a, a, a library. And uh, about 76 was when we really got some help from our state representative and we, we were able to get an overpass across US 59 at Kingwood Drive. Uh, we went to Commissioner Lyons and, and I have to tell you exactly what he said, <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> There are too many youthful ears here. But I will tell you that he very adamantly said that he was not going to build a library for a bunch of Republicans. <laughs> so uh, we went back another time and we asked again. And after he got through chewing on us for a few minutes, he said, those people do deserve a library. And they, he agreed to build this library, and I think this was our second site, we agreed on this, that this was the second site, and to me it turned out to be a perfect site for all of these years. Uh, Eddie Weissman, uh, the former city council person who, who worked uh, for y'all before Mike Sullivan, came to us several years ago about, about the opportunity of building a joint city and, and county library. Uh, the, the, the plans were put into a sh to shape and the problem was six million dollars. Uh, a lot of people say, well that's not anything, but uh, that's about six cents on your property taxes uh, per person for us to be able to do something like that. Uh, Francis Phelan uh, just almost gave me six or seven strokes from all of the media and all of the information that she continued to send me about libraries, like I hadn't graduated from Rice, but a Sam Houston <laughs> State guy ought to be able to figure out that we need a library up here. But finally, it was worked out. Uh, Mike Sullivan was elected. Uh, the funding uh, is a very unique situation, I want to tell you. Uh, the city of Houston is going to build this new facility. Uh, Harris County is going to, uh, uh, what, what is the right word? Operate. Uh, well, operate is the word, but what do you, what do you call all this material? Supply. Uh, library material. <laughs> <laughs> books, books. You learned that at Rice? <laughs> There's a word for it though, it's going to help me. What do you call when you put all of this stuff in the library? You're all right. <laughs> but anyway, Is we're going to put all the circulation and the public, right? uh, publications in it and operate it, and it's going to be a joint City of Houston Harris County uh, uh, operation. I have to tell you, this building has served Kingwood well. Uh, there are areas in Harris County, and, and Judge Emmett can tell you about them, are dying for facilities and would love to have what you have here. Uh, it is too small for Kingwood, there's no doubt about it. But what we're going to bring here, with the help of the City of Houston and Mike Sullivan, with the help of Judge Emmett, and what we're going to do with Harris County, uh, you are going to have, at the time that it opens, uh, the state-of-the-art best facility in Harris County. Pardon me? I have no idea. Does anybody know where it's going to be? No, so it's right across Ben's Creek. Ben's, Ben's, Ben's Branch. Yeah, Ben's Branch. 
and it's going to be tremendous, a tremendous facility. We're going to build it a little bit extra large and grow into part of it, but uh, all of that can be talked about by uh, uh, Councilman Sullivan. So, thank you for having me. I didn't mean to talk this much, but I, I, I appreciate it. Yes, thank you.